women's basketball team picks up their first conference victory of the season, 56-45 over CUW. Kira Williams, just talk about the effort today. Yeah, it was a team effort. I couldn't do it without my teammates, mostly, and the man above God. But it was mostly a team effort, thanks to Coach Ward. I couldn't do it without them. Alexi, talk about the defensive effort tonight. I think they shot like 15 of 70, and uh, and just talk about that end of the floor. You held them like well below their average. We knew we were going to have to stop the inside game since they don't really shoot a ton of threes, and I thought we did a really good job doubling and just communicating so that we could get out in time and, you know, make them take tough shots. You kind of talk about, you know, you got off today, I think, at 34 and 15, and uh, is it one of those cases where you just felt like there was a matchup where you get to the, the rack a lot? Um, no, well, I knew it was going to be an effort, and I knew it was going to take a lot of work, and we practiced this for the last mm -hmm couple of days so I knew what to prepare for going against them and like Lexi said we knew that they wasn't going to shoot a ton of threes so I knew I could attack. Lexi can you just talk about uh, what kind of momentum this gives you you know you're, you're barely into the conference season but getting you know 2024 off to a good start it's been a long time since I think 2010 2011 it's season 2012, maybe. yeah the last time that uh, you beat CUW yeah. how, how big was that to, to kind of finally beat this squad? It's huge. I mean, obviously, like, this is the beginning of conference play, I think, third game in, so getting a win, especially against a team we haven't won, is just huge. How big was it, too, that they got up 12-6. You guys went on the big run to, to, to go up. I think it was like a 17-3 to run. They came back at you, and how big was that for you to answer their run after you guys took the lead? It was just more about keeping our composure because we knew that we could hold this team and we could compete with them, but we knew that they was going to make a run after we made a run, so it was mostly us keeping our composure. Congratulations, ladies. Marion, 56-45 uh, over CUW here at the Sadoff. Marion picks up the 56-45 victory over CUW. Coach Josh Ward, 2010-2011 uh, season, 21 straight CUWs. Hattie, how big is it to finally get a W? Well, I didn't know about it till after the game when I asked our SID. I felt like it had been a while, but it, it was amazing. I'm so proud of this group. I mean, we got a young group with no seniors. And, you know, we've had some close non-conference games and, you know, we've been plugging away, plugging away. We just couldn't pull one out. And I, I was proud of our group because they never lost the faith. And uh, to come out and pull out, that's a big win for us. CUW's a great team, and it was just nice to come out on top on this one. What the defensive effort today? I mean, they, they averaged in the 50s. You held them to 45, and a lot, a lot of those points kind of came late when they were just kind of going back and forth. Just talk about, uh, I think they shot like 21% today to CUW. Yeah, uh, I know their focus is to go inside because they do have some bigs, and so we wanted to kind of pack that in a little bit. And I felt like we did a good job. Uh, obviously, yeah, they did start to hit some threes in the fourth quarter. Made me a little bit nervous, but uh, it was good for us to kind of pack it in. I mean, we, we did well on the glass. Key, Key Williams did amazing tonight, but, uh, you know, Chelsea King did great. Lexi Brakebush, uh, Bree G did awesome. We all did a great job. Lila Bartle. You know, on the on the glass, it was a team effort for you sure. Kind of talk about you know, Key is a tough matchup for anybody in this league. I mean, just what she can do inside, outside. Yeah, absolutely. I think she has the ability to. She's just so quick that she can get to the basket and finish. Um, and her jump shot's getting better. Um, that was definitely something she worked on over the off season, and so it, it's starting to show. But. I think part of that too, she's growing up a little bit and seeing when she can get away with stuff and when she can make the extra pass. Um, but yeah, she's blossoming into a great player at a great tournament, Mac Player of the Week this past week and follow it up with another big one tonight. Coach, well, you mentioned your youth that you have. You, know, you fell behind 12-6, I think went on like a 17-3 run to take a nice lead. They came at you and finished up only down two at the half. What does it say about your team that they didn't fold up? They were able to kind of re-extend that lead and then hang on. Yeah, I just had to reiterate that, you know, basketball is a game of runs. We're going to make runs, the other team's going to make runs. And I think early on in the year when uh, some teams made some runs on us, they were big runs and we kind of folded a little bit. That's why you look back at some of our quarters where we were kind of big blowouts. And, you know, just learning and growing and realizing that, you know, we can stop it. Um, we just got to stick to what we do best and not try and go one-on-one -on -one or anything like that. Coach, how big is it for your program now to head, you know, out on the road and stack some success? You're going to Edgewood on Saturday. I mean, it's big. There's no nights off in this league. And, you know, Edgewood is another matchup problem for us. I know they have some bigs. Uh, that we're, we're going to kind of have to deal with. They played a tough non-conference schedule. I think they just played the number one team in the country last week. So they're they're ready. They had a big win against WLC. So it's going to be a tough one. So I uh, late night for me watching the film for sure. Marion gets their first conference victory over CUW. You can learn more about Marion women's basketball at saberathletics.com. Coach Ward, thanks. Thank you.